Hey, it's Nathan with crazyadmarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the event setup tool within the Meta Ads Manager. So what it does is it lets you easily set up conversions on your website. So here we are inside of the Events Manager and in particular under Data Sources. And I'm assuming you've already set up your pixel and installed it on your website. So we wanted to come over to Settings then and we wanted to scroll on down and you should see an option for Event Setup. And we have the option right here for Event open event setup tool. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it. And then we enter our website URL and open the website. And you should see a little box on your website right now that says meta event setup tool. And you could drag it around. So if it's in the way, you could move it out of the way. And it's a pretty simple tool. So we have events on this page and it'll list out all the events on the page. We also have all events will, which will list all the events available through your data set or through your pixel. So here we are events on this page and there's two options. We could track a new button or we could track a URL. So basically, if there's anything on our site that we wanna track as an event that we might wanna optimize for, so like a lead or a purchase, then we can go ahead and set that up within the event setup tool. So let's say that I want to make this button down here at the bottom, wherever it is, this sign up button, I want it to be tracked as an event because maybe I want to drive traffic to my website and I want them to click this sign up button. Now clicking a sign up button and actually signing up are two different things, but I don't have an opt-in form on my website at this time. And so this is the next best thing to go ahead and track. So in my case, I'd click on track a new button because this is a button, right? So track new button. And then I'd go ahead and click on the button right here. And then it asked me what type of an event this is. So I click this button here and there are several events to choose from. So add to cart, initiate checkout, lead. So maybe kind of that, of course, we're not collecting the email address, purchase, add payment info, add to wish list, complete registration, contact, customize product, donate, find location, schedule, search, start trial, submit application, subscribe, view content. And so in my particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and select the view content event because they're not actually signing up. However, view content is an event that I could track and optimize my ads around. And so now it's asking if I'd like to include a value in currency. So if I think that this button is worth anything for them clicking on this button, then I could go ahead and you know assign it a value. So I could choose a value on this page. So if I click this option, well then it wants me to choose a number that's on the page and there's not really any numbers to choose from. So it doesn't really make sense to choose that option. Now it might make sense if this was a store and I had you know a dollar amount for a product and I wanted to use that amount. But for my particular case, I don't wanna include a value because it's pretty hard to assign a value to. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on confirm. And so now I can see my event on this particular page. So I have a view content event that'll happen if the button text is sign up. So just like that right there. Of course, I could go ahead and delete this event by clicking the trash can. I can edit the event. So if I'm like, oh, I do wanna include a value, I could go ahead and select that option, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna click on confirm. And then there's a drop down right here. And it just gives me a little bit more information. So this event fires when someone clicks a button with with the text sign up. And I can see that the setup method is the event setup tool. And let me go ahead and minimize this again. I'm gonna click on track new button again. And you can see that every link basically counts as a button. So all my links in the footer here count as a button, even though it's a link. But basically it's looking for clicks on my website. So anything that's clickable on my website, this about us button, my logo, my sample page, my thank you page, all these clickable items could be events tracked by the event setup tool. I'm gonna go ahead and make this about us button an event and I'll select an event and let me scroll on down. I'm gonna make this a contact us event. And I'll go ahead and click on confirm. So if they click the about us button, it'll count as a contact event. And that's it for the events on this page. Now, if I go to, to all events, I can see all the events I set up. And of course it matches the events on this page because I'm on the same page. Now, let's say that I do have an opt-in form and that opt-in form leads to a thank you page. So I actually have a link right here to the thank you page. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And I can see that the event setup tool followed us to this new page. And you can also see that the events I set up on the previous page followed us to this page as well. And that's because we have the same buttons on this page. Now, obviously I would probably change the content on this page to be unique, but the events are showing up because the criteria is so generic. So any button text that contains about us or any button text that contains sign up will trigger those events no matter where they are on my site. Now this thank you page of course is unique because somebody opted in in order to get to this page. So I wanna make sure that people that land on this page are tracked as a lead. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this track a URL button. And so track an event using a URL. In this case, I wanna make sure that people landing on this page are counted as a lead. And you can see that the URL equals this right here. We could also change it to URL contains. And so that way your lead event could be triggered on all pages that contain, you know, thank you on them. So maybe you have a thank you dash one, thank you dash two or something like that and you want all of them to trigger a lead event, but well, then you can use that URL contains option instead of URL equals. And then again, it gives us the option to track the value in currency, and I'm not gonna include a value, so I'm gonna click this option and confirm. And so there we go, my lead event will now trigger on this page. Let me go back to my home page real quick to make sure that the lead event's not going to show up. So we see events on this page, and there's only two events on this page versus my thank you page would count as three events. So now that I'm happy with all my events, I'm gonna go ahead and click on finish setup and it wants me to confirm everything that I'm adding. I can go ahead and click on finish and it wants me to rate the event setup tool and I'm gonna say, yes, that was helpful. And I'll just click on don't ask me again and submit. And then I'll click on done here. Now let me come back to the events manager real quick and I wanna to go to test events and I'm gonna go ahead and clear my activity real quick and clear activity. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm your website's events are set up correctly and I'll pop up in my website and I'm gonna go ahead and click on my about us button and I'm gonna come down here and click on the sign up button and then I'm gonna come over here and click on the thank you page link and then I'm going to come back to my events manager and see what might have popped up and I can see several different events so I have a page view event and that's from my pixel I have a subscribe button click which was automatically logged by Facebook it's trying to make sure that it's tracking events on my behalf so I can do a better job serving ads to people. But we can see right here, I have a contact event, which is something that I set up. And we can see that the setup method was the event setup tool. So it looks like that's working. We had the view content event as well. And we can see that that came through the event setup tool. And then we also have the lead event that came through the event setup tool. So it does look like the event setup tool is working correctly. So that is awesome. And that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how you can use the event setup tool to set up different events on your website. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyoutmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.